Hey guys, I'm back to explain a few things about a wonderful site and tool called World of Logs. You might have heard it or used it before, but I'll be making a series of videos that will help you to utilize this tool. I think one of the things that sets exceptional players apart from others is their ability, ability to analyze their performances. We can set our gear and stats up the way theory crafters tell us to, but ultimately it comes down to execution. In this particular video, I will show you how to set up a World of Logs profile for yourself or your guild so that you can upload your combat logs. I'll also show you the basic workings of what you can find using the site. So to begin with, you will need to have Java installed on your computer in order to run the World of Logs client. Search for Java Download and you'll find the website. Java has been around a long, long time, so if you're prompted if you trust the installation, the answer is yes. After that has been installed, you need to go to worldoflogs.com. Click the register link in the top right and fill in your information. You will receive an authentication link in the email, which you will need to click in order to activate your account. Once you have logged in, there will be a message to the right side once again telling you that you are not in a guild. If your guild is currently not set up in World of Logs, you need to create one. So click create and fill in the required fields. If you are just going to use the logs privately and want no one to have access or to see them, you should make up a dummy guild name, like a private guild, and then just click a random server. Once that has been done, you will have two additional links at the top of the page, one that says client and then whatever guild name you, you chose. You will need to click the client tool and it will download an applet. This is where the Java install comes in. It might ask some additional permissions, but since I've been running the client for a few years now, I've forgotten what exactly it asks you. When the client pops up, you will get a window like this and it will most likely ask you for your account login. Enter that and hit test account settings. If both are correct, then it will validate the client. Then in the box where it asks you for your log directory, you will have to enter the path in your combat log file. Keep in mind, you will only have to do this once. Traditionally, World of Warcraft follows this path when it installs. However, if you install WoW someplace else, you need to find the World of Warcraft folder. Mine is C World of Warcraft slash logs. Once you find the log folder, which is inside the WoW directory, you can go up and copy-paste the path. To copy, hit Ctrl C and then go back to your World of Logs client and paste, or hit Ctrl V. Once that path is there, hit Find slash Test and Save. It should check out Find, and once those, those two things are set up, there will be three buttons, File, Log, and Live Report. You will not be able to use any of them until you have a combat log in that folder. To get one, you need to go into the game and type slash combat log, which will automatically create a file named combat log.txt in your logs folder. Nothing will be in it until you enter combat, so try it out in a Baird and Hold or another instance, like a five man. Once you are logging, you can click, click the start a live report session, and after every fight, each one will be automatically uploaded to your guild site. You must keep this log client open and running while you are logging. If you DC or log out, you'll have to start it up again along with slash combat log. If you forget to run the client, but remember to log your combat parse, slash combat log, then when your raid is done, you can open up the client and click open the WoW log, which will automatically upload the parse, but it might take a few minutes. No matter which method you use, you'll need to go back to the World of Logs site and click on your guild name, which will bring you to a calendar. Click on whatever day's parse you want to look at. For this video, we'll look at Tuesday's logs from months behind. When we get there, at the top you'll see this. To pick a specific fight, you need to go to Full Report, then Kills, and then choose the fight that you want to look at. If you want to look at Healing, you need to go to Dashboard, and then Healing Done. Here you will see my five healers, and their DPS, or in this case, HPS. Normally, healers can't be judged based on pure HPS, since they all have different roles. However, you can notice certain things just with this window alone. I typically look at the active time on the right side. If it is below 90%, then they probably didn't survive the whole fight, or they stood around and ran a lot. This could potentially affect healing. <laughs> Sometimes you can also notice different things, like if you have, um, like we have four healers and then we have one healer that had half the DPS as the healer that was right above it. It typically means either they died early on, as in this case. In this case, we had Versaire, who was a Boomkin off spec, and he was healing just for this fight. So, you know, he died early and all that. Um, so typically you can see stuff like that. Um, unfortunately, you typically see shamans at the bottom because they just don't have the healing throughput that we have, and they also tend to have very specific raid roles. Um, so yeah, if you hover over the name, then you can see the top five spells for each player with their percentages of healing. 
you can use the same method for DPS, of course. If you click on a player's name, in this case mine, you will be taken to an individual spell breakdown as well as damage taken and buffs cast or gained. You can also check the survivability, or how ev well everyone survived, as well as a death overview, which shows a space of 30 seconds before a character's death, including what killed it, any CDs it had, and the healing it received. Typically, this is really useful for when you are working on progression and you're looking at a lot of wipes and you want to know why a tank died right there um, and things like that. And there you have it, a very quick overview of how to set up portable vlogs and to check your healing. I will be making more videos that go more in depth on how to analyze your healing and compare to others of your class. So stay tuned and make sure to subscribe. Thanks, guys. I hope this video helps. And my dog says hi. <laughs>